Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Door Kickers. So up next we've got the Grand Avenue Bank. Not a lot of tangos, not a lot of hostages, but it looks like a fairly large and complex map. Let's take a quick look at this one. And a very appropriate ski mask robber guy with a Mac 10 as our loading screen. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a fairly large one. Hmm... Tell you what, so to avoid some hour-long video, uh, we're going to make this another one of th those episodes. And uh, I'll cut away for a little bit, I'll come back, we'll go over the plan, and then we'll see how things work out. Alright guys, and we are back. So, we're going to be taking a look at this mission in kind of two separate halves, uh, largely from the two different points of entry that can happen. First of all, we'll come down here, where we've got both of our assaults and both of our stealth units... Largely just due to their higher caliber, longer range weapons. Uh, this initial firefight that's going to happen as soon as we come in here tends to happen at long range with uh, opponents that have body armor, all that kind of stuff. So it gets a little bit messy. Um, there's guys in here. This is a solid object uh, right here, but these are not. So like we can't see or shoot across this barrier, uh, but everything else in here is just open. So uh, there are shots that are fired, like, clear across this thing. Uh, once they're making entry in here, you'll notice a uh, departure from how I normally deal with things like this, uh, where I might have clear checks that are happening so that the door blows and before anybody walks in, they, uh, they check for clear first and then start moving. We're not doing that here because there are plenty of units back here that have stinger grenades. And they will start throwing them basically as soon as the doors blow, if you're still in the same position a few seconds later, stinger grenades are going to land at your feet. You're going to have a bad time. So we're keeping these guys moving for the most part, um, except for just kind of some clear checks at the end of clearing out this kind of uh, larger waiting area. I hesitate to call it a lobby, as this is supposed to be a bank, and this feels like a lobby. Uh, I guess this is just the waiting area. Uh, so... Once this room is cleared out, they will start to, uh, they'll do clear checks there before they start to move on. But everything else uh, needs to happen very quickly with a lot of forward momentum to uh, stay away from stingers. Once they have cleared this, we're just going to have two of our units moving up here. They're going to stop right at this area, wait for just a second. Uh, we're usually waiting on this guy. And then simultaneously, we're going to toss flashbangs into here. This is the vault with all the monies. Uh, so we've got guys presumably trying to break into the vault. And uh, they're just gonna pop in here to finish that off. On the other side, uh, I guess I should mention this. Uh, one other thing, it's sometimes necessary, it's sometimes not, but I have one of my units crossing through here into this room, um, just in case there's a guy in here and we need a little additional firepower to sort it out. Um, there are probably other ways, maybe even better ways of doing that, but that's how I'm dealing with it. Uh, on the other side, we've got our other team that's making entry, and they are like the quintessential opposite of our long-range, high-caliber strike team. Uh, we've got two guys with shields, two guys with the silenced Mark 23s, uh, so two point men, two shield units. And on Alpha, which is as soon as the other door blows, they're gonna come in through these doors. Now, there are usually guys right in here and if this is your initial entry point, you'll have to deal with them, and they're not fun. But the door breach on the other side of the building tends to get them facing the other way. They're basically standing in the same spots as these two clear checks are. Uh, it tends to make them turn and look the other way to try to kind of provide support down here. And then they just get shot in the back by, you know, silenced pistols, and it goes pretty smoothly. Uh, one thing I will mention, if you don't have this team coming in right away, the units that are up here will start shooting at the guys that come in down here. And there are civilians like right behind the cash register area in the uh, the lobby. So if that happens, you're probably going to fail the mission as like a guy right here takes a shot across that and uh, hits a civilian. So it basically needs to be a simultaneous breach. Once they're in... And they've pushed up to here, taken out those two guys. They've done most of their job, really. There's sometimes a unit down here, which is why there's a flashbang and a unit moving down to clear it. 
and why sometimes I send this other guy in. Um, sometimes that doesn't go in my favor, um, but other times it does. So we'll see. I might adjust it to have like this uh, point man come down here as well or something like that. We'll, we'll check it out. Uh, once this is taken care of though, we are going to have a shield unit and a point man coming along this way. And their job is to head up here and deal with these hostage situations that are up top. Uh, we do have a sniper that can give us some support and we're probably gonna take about two shots with him. Um, when the initial mission starts, I'm actually gonna move his sniper target to a guy that isn't visible right now, but is usually patrolling down here. He's gonna walk into this kitchen type room. I'm gonna shoot him and that's kind of gonna start off the whole mission. Uh, after that shot is taken, he'll revert back to this guy, and like right before they breach in on Charlie, I'll shoot him with the, the sniper as well, just to uh, make the resistance a little bit less fierce whenever uh, a guy walks in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get things started. Ready to fire. As you can see, there's a guy coming out of the bathroom, and he's walking into here. So shoot and blow, and... A lot of things happen at one time, I realize, but that went pretty smoothly, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, he was able to, to take care of that on his own. He didn't really need that guy, but he's not doing anything in this lobby like once he clears out this anyway, so it wasn't ever really a big deal. Uh, additionally, uh, so this happens sometimes and is bad news bears, but we've got our uh, flashbang. Oh, no, I did not mean to click on that. That's probably going to mean I don't get the all-in-one thing. Uh, I meant to be clicking on this thing. So he's going to throw this in here, and then on this other flashbang, that's what I needed to reposition. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with Charlie. The guy that I like to shoot is not here, so that's fine. We have him move down a little bit, prep a second flashbang. He's going to throw it into this room before coming in and deal with him. We're done here. No. Oh, yep, I didn't get it. And the only reason I didn't get it was because I kind of screwed up and clicked something I didn't mean to click. I'm going to run through that one more time. As a lot of stuff happened that I wasn't really able to narrate very well due to how quickly it's going on. So let's take a look over here. You'll see these guys get taken out with no problem. This firefight can be kind of hairy, but we've got enough firepower to deal with it. Additionally, this fight didn't happen this time, so the randomization doesn't have a guy down here on that one. That's fine. Uh, we catch one of the guys that I believe is in here patrolling back up and down this hallway. Uh, we catch him right there. And once these guys are in place, I can give Charlie now. You know, I probably can go ahead and do it. Go ahead and toss Charlie now. The uh... Oh, actually that guy was kind of important. All right. So, uh, I like to have him in position for the door open, but a lot of times he wasn't able to do it on his own. Good job. We're done here. <laughs> and I think I screwed up. I forgot to reposition the flashbang that time, so it actually didn't go off in the direction I wanted, and it didn't matter even a tiny bit. Uh, able to get all three stars, no problem. Uh, mission goes pretty smoothly once it kind of gets sorted out in my head. Uh, so not too bad, all things considered. Uh, next up, this is a very complex looking map. Uh, first thing, we've got to protect the VIP type mission. Um, I think I've only done one of those so far uh, where there was like the elevator guys chasing us uh, and that required quite a bit of sort of gamification to uh, to just set an ambush for them. I wonder if it's going to be similar or not. But it'll definitely be interesting at least. Uh, I hope you guys join me for that one. If you enjoyed this episode feel free to subscribe to see more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes and I will see you guys next time.